trucks or fires will enter to the center of the cage. Fires to the center, we're in construction. All right, guys, we're going to ask some questions. Any questions? Any questions? Once you lose your fight, obey my commands at all times. Okay, cut you up. Back to the morning. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Beckett Event Center in Fountain, Colorado. Tonight, Top Shelf Entertainment presents Rubicon for Point of No Return. Our first set of fighters is in the cage for a 145-pound bout featuring Anthony Chavez. He's getting a fast start in the white and black trunks. Representing Impulse MMA, facing off against Ambrose Vigil. Mr. Vigil comes to us from Jackson Wink MMA. As you would expect, excuse me, in the 125 pound division, not 45. As you would expect in the 125 pound division, very fast, very technical, and cardio for days with these guys. A little bit of slip there for Chavez on his back, but making quick use of rubber guard. Tried to bring that shin across the throat, looking like he wanted to lock up a loco plata. Ambrose Vigil wise to it, popped his head out. And Chavez doing a really nice job right now off of his back of controlling the posture of V-Hill. Going for the Omoplata shoulder lock. Nice roll through by V-Hill. But standing guillotine in place for Chavez. Cranking hard with it is Chavez. V-Hill somehow hanging tough and not tapping. It's not like Chavez is going to get a much better position than this. He's just going to keep cranking on it. Arch in his back, needs to lift his head up and look to the ceiling. He's looking down at his opponent to see what he's doing. He'll get a few more degrees of crank on it if he lifts his chin up. And just beautiful defense by Vigil. Corner of Chavez asking for the knee strike. Showing his ring savvy, he listens to him, throws the knees. And Vigil with the takedown onto the ground now, into side control. Chavez holding on to the head, trying to control the posture of Vigil. Doesn't want him to lift that head up, create distance, have room for power in the strikes. But what of a turn of events we have going here for Vigil. Going to town with the ground and pound is the Jackson Wink fighter. See a fighter like Vigil bring the knee up. Makes you wonder if he's going to switch the hips, try to go for a submission. Of course, the most prominent one there would be an armbar. You can also set up a topside triangle. And Chavez relegated to just body lock and trying to control the action, control the posture of V Hill. And looking very calm is V Hill. Pretty nonplussed by the fact that he's in a fight. There's the 10 second clacker. V Hill flurrying hard with shots. See if he can close it out. There's the bell. We get round two. Here we go for round two. Chavez in the white trunks, Vigil in the black trunks. Referee Oscar Martinez third in the cage. And it's punchy kicky time.
And again, I'll speak to the calmness of Vigil, just stalking his opponent now. Chavez brought that knee up. You are not allowed to knee to the head in the amateur division in Colorado. So good thing that he didn't get on target with that. Flash in the head kick is Vigil. The corner of Chavez letting him know they want him to open up. Round one, Chavez was a little more on the offensive. Good job by Vigil of mixing his punches and kicks and not only different strikes, but also the kicks are going to different levels. And a hard shot eaten there by Vigil. Chavez closes in to capitalize, but Vigil able to take it to the mat. And again, rubber guard in place by Chavez, trying to keep Vigil from bringing his head up. No immediately threatening submissions here from Chavez. Now he can swing around. And good escape by Vigil. That was tight. Very nice setup there by Chavez. Vigil goes with the punch pass. Lands well, but he did not get around the guard. Chavez showing us he's very comfortable off of his back here this evening. Doing a good job with his defense. He's taking what I'd call one significant strike. Otherwise, pretty much shut down the uh, ground and pound attack of Vigil when he has guard. And one more time, using the shoulder lock in order to get the turn. So Vigil off of his back is full mounted now. So opposite of what we had at the end of round one. And a chance for Chavez to switch off to the arm bar here. Also might be trying to thread through for the rear naked choke. Chavez cranking hard with it. Starting to arch his back, stretch out Vigil. And not quite under the chin, but it's very close. Fewer than 10 seconds left. Let's see if Vigil's able to ride it out. And we're gonna get a third round. Referee Oscar Martinez calls the fighters to the center for round number three. And immediately Chavez slipped a little bit, but has his feet back underneath him now. Very well could be uh, one round to one round here, considering the ends of both rounds. Each fighter enjoying some dominant positional work. And Vigil able to plant Chavez onto his back, but Chavez has shown us tonight he doesn't mind being there. Corner Chavez told him they want him to use the rubber guard for a sweep. And Chavez one more time going to try to pull that left shin across the face of V Hill or rotate his hips, go for the shoulder lock. And closing in with the Loco Plata, Plata excuse me, trying to roll through, turn it topside. V 
A nice job by Veal, working the defense and the escape. He's had a difficult time getting past the guard of Chavez. Did enjoy full mount at the end of round number one, but now there's a, one more time, Veal going with the punch pass. Trying to roll through, see if he can set up an armbar here. Off the bottom side control is Chavez. V Hill just going to pressure down with the head, make sure there's no space for that leg to come through. And full mount one more time for V Hill. That's how he closed out round number one. Working the heavy ground and pound. Looks like he's going back to it here in the third. Chavez is going to have to do something to affect an escape here. Does not want to end the round in this position. Eating hard shots is Chavez. V Hill really going to work with the punches now. Not a whole lot of time left here. Chavez, good job trying to work the escape. Second time, almost able to roll through. Good base by Hill. There's the 10 second clacker. Looks like the judges might have to tell us who the winner is. Trying to go for the leg lock here at the end is Chavez. Scramble for position. We're taking it to the judges. Which way do you think they're going to raise the hands? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm working, man. Oh, okay, fine. Oh, which way, did you say? Uh, the camera's over there, so I, I guess they're going toward the camera. So I don't, I don't really have any set criteria for it. Usually there's just one or two fights that has really good standout action. Okay. And um, if not, I'll confer with a couple other people and kind of get a majority opinion.
Judge Joe Garcia scores the ball 29 28. Judge Mark Van Tine scores the ball 29 28. Judge Joe Garcia scores the ball 29 28. For your winner by unanimous decision. Ambrose B.